Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will quickly understand what are the necessary things that you need to remember while you are choosing the data set. There are some things that you can do towards understanding your data set better before you go ahead and use them in your project. So I am going to talk about some of these which are really very important. The first thing to be understood is how big is your data set. Pandas is a real gift to us. With Pandas, we can really go ahead and understand many of the things. So to understand how big is your data set, you can go ahead with this shape. I have already created a data frame and the data frame name is data. Data.shape will give you an idea of how big is your data set. Now coming to the next thing, how the data looks like. You need to understand how exactly your data looks like. Again, we can use pandas here, data.head. Data is nothing but the name of data frame that I have. Data.head of five will get you the structure, the complete details about the first five. And tail will give you the last five, tail of five. If you are not specifying any number, it will give you a complete picture. So you need to understand how exactly your data set looks like. And what's the type of data? For that we can use info. Info is very important here to be used, which will get you a clear picture about what type of data it is. And you need to identify missing values. How do you get that? Very simple. We can use dot is null dot sum. This is going to help you in identifying the missing values. We do not have any missing values here. So you need to understand if there are so many missing values in a data set which can cost you later. The math view of the data set is also very important. You need to understand the mean, median kind of stuff with your data set and it will be really helpful for you. So how do you get it? You can use describe. The describe will help you in understanding count, mean, standard deviation, min, 25 percent, 50 percentile, 75 percentile, max values in this data set and this is going to be really helpful. And next is to identify duplications. Do we have any duplicate entries? This is actually a very important step that we need to do before we go ahead and zero in with your data set for our work. So dot duplicated dot sum. So this is nothing but my name of the data frame again. So dot duplicated dot sum will get you how many duplicate entries are there. So all these steps will certainly help you in understanding your data set better and you can take a call as in if I have to use this data set or not through this inputs. I hope it was useful. In case you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.